The game that will decide it all, George Hensley versus Riga Kalfas for the king title and the $600 check. Riga has elected to start the match on the left-hand lane, which also means he gets to finish right. the match. That can be a, an important decision sometimes if you know your competitor is not striking on one particular lane. Wow. I think he means business, Dave. Well, I, I, I've never seen him put on his bowling shoes and not, not mean business. That's true. Yeah. That's a good point. <laughs> uh, I don't think we go out, to, even though we have fun when we bowl, you don't just go out to have fun at this level. No. You're, you're here to accomplish something, whether it's just for you, uh, whether it's on television for thousands of people. Um, you're here to accomplish something and prove something, and that is that you can bowl well. And both of these gentlemen have proven that a million times. Oh, wow, the scout just missing by a very small margin. Boy, that was a great ball. Absolutely fantastic. The power ball that he throws, take a look at it here. The scout, as we call it, is going to be the one that's going to go to the right-hand side of your screen. Should be the five pin or the head pin. Head pin. It's the head pin. Coming off the right-hand wall, coming all the way across and missing the seven by a fraction of an inch. And of course, that is the AMF legacy that he's throwing, and that ball hits great. And you can win one of those if you know the winning score at 7.20 a.m. on WLW. Talk to Jim Scott. That's right. WLW, the only, big one. Oh, wait a minute. Not only the legacy, but you'll win another ball yeah. also. So it's valued probably around $250. Ball hits good, Dave. What do you think? Oh, it's Kind of like it. I might try one out. Well, I like it. And he's, he's customized it. He's drilled out some of the top weight. Mm -hmm. He's drilled out some of the side weight. And he's, he, like he told me before the match, he says, I've got some goofy weights in this ball. <laughs> but uh, the goofy weights seem to roll real well for him and uh, seems to hit real well also hand slap with the competitors both guys know that the only opponent lies within their own gut and in their inner id mm -hmm. it is not the oh. guy on the lanes that's right it's not I'm sure the, about that oh, yeah the inner id <laughs> yeah inner id look that one up i will so I'll move you with that once. Uh, nasty thing in the middle of your brain. Ooh. Whoa. Nasty ah. thing. He is a nasty thing if you're bowling against him. If you know him personally, he is a, pardon the term, sweetheart. He's <laughs> just a great, great guy. Married a super girl. Starting, Shelly. Starting a family. Mm -hmm. and, um, and he's out here every day. There she is. Boy, look how excited she gets. I, I she just gets nervous is what it is. is I talk to is? her all the time, yes. Okay. And sometimes I think it is harder to be the spectator than it is the one controlling the bowling ball. I, that's right. I, <laughs> we've left tournaments before, and, and Sandy's a nervous wreck. And I, so what's, you know, I'm the guy out there bowling. What's wrong with you? She said, you wouldn't believe what we go through back here. Oh, yeah. It's a, real realm of emotions. Riga Kauf is starting the game out with the first three, and they weren't just three strikes. They were three crushers. So I wonder if I couldn't talk to Chris Lacita and get one of those bowling balls. <laughs> Jennifer. I think he has some pool there with AMF. <laughs> Jennifer, I'm sure if you talk to him, you can get almost anything you want. So Except I, the legacy, because it's such a great ball. <laughs> uh, I don't know. So well, I'm really impressed. That's the first time I've seen the ball used in action, and I'm telling you. That's right. If you uh, listen to WLW tomorrow, about 7.20 a.m., uh, Jim Scott will ask for the correct winning score of this, the championship match. And if you are the correct caller, you give the correct score, you are the winner of the his and hers AMF bowling balls worth over $200. My guess is it's closer to 250, 270, yeah. mm -hmm. and one of the balls happens to be this ball, a Dick Weber reactive resin, and ladies and gentlemen, you can see how well it hits. We're not giving away pieces of junk oh, here. No. This is wow. quality stuff. Holy cow. Quality, quality merchandise. My goodness. WLW, the big one, will give it to you if you know it. Dick Weber, reactive resin. Here's his goofy weight. See, right in the middle of his span is a hole drilled out where he took out top weight. 
Then there's another hole on the side where he drilled out mm -hmm. sideways. I mean, these good bowlers are nuts. They you know, drill holes everywhere. But the ruling is, for ABC competition, you are only allowed to have one counterbalance hole. And is we'll that go, right? Yeah, we'll go into that a little later as we watch Regan make a mistake. He's not quite sure what he did wrong to leave the very difficult 6-7-10 split. I've seen Regan make this quite a few times, though. Right there, to the right of your screen, you have to slide the six pin over across the lane into the seven, and then the ball will take out the ten. Let's see if he can do it. Nope. Didn't get it over. Two against somebody like George Hensley, two might be a good move. Absolutely. Take a look at the mistake. Goes right straight through the heart. None of the pins dance around and twirl around in the right direction, and you leave a hole. We, in bowling, you got a string of strikes thrown. You don't mind coming off with a solid 7, 10, 9, no. just anything but anything but a split. Can really take some adrenaline out of you. We'll see how Riga can handle it. I think he'll handle it rather well. <laughs> like that? Just like that. What a prediction. Watched him bowl too many times to know he's going to get rattled by one mistake. But, but the thing is, okay, when he's up on the right lane next frame, as we see that George Hensley uh, leads by 25 pins, he was confused about the ball rolling high. Mm -hmm. He's even rubbing his chin now, wondering if it was him. Or was it the lane? Yes. The next frame will prove to be a critical frame in this match. Wow, that ball hits good. He's intense. Look at him. Well, I'd, I'd say it's safe to say he is pumped up. Four in a row. Starting with a nine count in the first frame and then striking from there out. There in the background, you see cans of the Trade Winds products, so popular with uh, Pepsi right next to it. And it, with me. It, and and with everybody. It's it's uh, a drink that's catching on. Uh, between Pepsi and Trade Winds, you can suit pert any taste. Pert near, <laughs> pert near any taste that comes down the highway. And uh, we have done so uh, at our house extensively. Look out, it's hot. Yeah. Same split. Could see it. Not come. quite the same split, same area as Riga. The bowler opening up, giving his competition a chance, and he knows he flipped it early, early roll, missed his target inside, and when you flip the ball over, it doesn't have that good clean roll that might break down a split. It hits flat, it keeps the pins flat and you wind up with this kind of garbage. You can almost tell what George is going to do just by his release. When he goes up and out with his left arm, you can tell that he hit it good and got good speed and trusted it. When he comes short with it and goes more um, over his head as he extends, he goes high. Riga from Alexandria, Kentucky. Bowls out at LaRue. That was our show last week. Taking a little extra time because when the opponent opens and you've got a strike working, you want to take full it. advantage. That's as much reaction as I've seen out of Riga <laughs> forever. No kidding. He wanted that strike badly because that closes the gap and runs us into a game. Does he want it? Look at this. I've never seen his That's feet <laughs> leave the ground. <laughs> That's exciting. I mean, there was, at least, it, there was at least two or three inches between Tell his feet him. and the floor. Well, that, that strike, <laughs> the reason he got excited, brings the match to even, Jennifer. Wow. Seventh frame, both players even up. Advantage right now to no one. This match will go down to the wire. You can count on it. Hopefully both players. Well, look get at that back nice family. Yeah. How about that, Sarah, 20 months old, and his wife Sandy. She's a sweetheart. Oh, look at that face. Burnett. Oh. Yeah, they look so cute, and then sometimes <laughs> they can be so. 
Oh, hi, Carissa. Oh, I'm sure that Sarah is a fine child. Uh-oh, I'm about to get beat by my daughter. Here she comes. <laughs> Speaking of your daughter, I understand your uh, son's quite the artist. In a uh, game of Pictionary? Um, Something going on there? Well, yes, during his birthday party, we got into it. I'll tell you about it in a minute, but watch the footwork. Riga Kalfas loses it, gets Whoa. up on his toe. Actually, I give him a, uh, the Russian judge gives him a 4.9 for uh, technical merit, and I think he deserved a lower score than that, actually. Uh, it's so political. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and what are you going to do? You're going to take advantage of that in a heartbeat. Just jump right on it with a strike. These guys are going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. One pin separating the two bowlers, the advantage to George Hensley at this point. Yeah, we were playing Pictionary last night, and... Um, uh, my son, the, the only thing, you know, he, he comes to the shoots and he works with the crew and he does this, that, and the other thing. And the only thing he could think of was to put uh, a picture of, of a crown, a crown <laughs> of a, this is no lie, of a crown. And then he drew a cow and he put the slices in there uh -huh. for the ribs. And right away I said, ribs king. And in the game, if you, know, if you mention the word at all, you win. So, you know, we did all right in that game. So Ribs King helped us win the match, and the Dick Weber Legacy Ball may help George Hensley win this match. Riga is at the disadvantage. Going into the eighth frame, he must fill it up with strikes. Crucial time in the match. This is crunch time, Jen. This is. This is what it's all about to me. I love this competition. Couple wide. Ooh, lucky to get that seven pin out of there at the last second. You're absolutely right. If the seven would not have dropped, this match would be history. As it is, he buys a little more life, a little more time. Leaving the three six for Riga should be a very easy spare. Cross lane. It didn't happen today, but Jeff Weiler did bring us out of Camaro, and it's mighty hot sitting out there. I, we, keep, we keep wanting to give away a car. Honest, folks, we want to give away a car. We would love to give away a car. Jeff Weiler would love to deliver it to whomever, but there's only been one 300 ever on the King of Bowling. This man gave us the next best thing, 299, several years ago with an absolutely crushed strike in the 12th frame, leaving the seven pin, I believe. Who Jim? would forget that performance? That was a great. Strikes just like that are what got him to 11 in a row. No seven pin on that ball. Uh-uh, no way. That's a haymaker. 13 pins separating the two players going into the very important ninth frame for George Hensley. He needs to strike here. And if he takes it off the sheet, he is the winner. If he does not, he leads the opening for Riga to maintain the crown. But a serious challenge has been issued right now. Ninth frame, critical frame. He pulls it. Pulls it badly. Boy, he did pull that one badly. He, he motioned, stay down. He must have lifted up on that shot. Well, he's... Uh, you know, in, in, a, put away. In, a, yeah, <laughs> in a critical, critical shot. What he says on his bio, when you need a strike to win, what's the one thing you think about the most? Staying slow. He did not stay slow on that shot. Rushed it, crossed over. Very fortunate to only leave one pin. Somebody was worried about that in the audience. Did you hear that? Curve? Yeah, curve. <laughs> Okay, we've got a 12-pin uh, advantage for George Hensley, but with the strike up for Riga in the, in the uh, ninth frame, mm -hmm. this match could go right down to the very last pitch. Riga's looking at the overhead scoreboard, knows what's going on, so does George Hensley. Both of these guys have been in this position time and time again. Should both players take it out, George Hensley would win by three pins. Not going to happen. A new lease on life for Riga Kalfas. George made sure to trust that one, didn't he? 
He certainly did. With a spare and a strike, 223. His potential, Riga Kalfas, if he strikes out, 232. Count, very critical on this, making the spare, first of all. And count on his fill ball will decide exactly what Riga needs to do in the tenth. Shelly looking nervous again. Oh, no. Here I go again. I understand Tyler has a birthday coming up, too, so we're looking for some extra bucks. Get him some nice toys. I made him promise. <laughs> you, you are such a conniver with this money stuff. Jeez. <laughs> Poor guy's out there working his heart out for some cash. <laughs> and, and I want his wife to already yeah, spend it. <laughs> yeah. You have her running out of spending that stuff all the time. Okay, that strike, that strike, critical strike, forces Riga Kalfas to get the first two in the tenth frame. Very important was count on that particular one. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Riga Kolf is taking a little extra time knowing the situation. Trust me, this guy knows what he's got to do. You can't get the second one until you get this one. Eyes intense. Great approach. Good extension. First Fabulous there, reaction. Yes. That's about everything you can do right in the game of bowling. Perfect approach, good release, great extension, and with authority, hacksaws the rack out of there, and, <laughs> well, there's a little emotion. Oh, yeah. But not Riga, not yet. He's got to keep the adrenaline level where it's at, because that strike only means that he now has the chance to win the match with one more. He has got to strike on this ball. Way to go, Al. Shelly can't believe it. Maximum it. deflection. Bad, bad break. Going down in defeat if he gets the one pin here. He finishes with 219, and he does, but that's not enough to defeat George Hensley. Our new king is crowned 223 to 219. Stay with us. We'll be back to present a little pass in just a little bit on BPA King of TV Bowling. Mike Sells brings you potato chips with one of a kind taste. All over America, celebrities. number eight comes to an end and a new king is crowned but first in the 189 and under division jennifer mike fugit you're looking great your average is on the upswing i'm sure five hundred dollars for you today congratulations thanks Rock. way to go george hensley you defeated a very very strong opponent uh, how do you feel in the tenth frame when he crushed the first one when he threw the first one, I basically thought I was done. I knew I had a chance to close him out on my own, and I made a bad shot in the ninth. So I knew it wasn't in my hands anymore. And he made two good shots and got a bad break. Got a bad break, and that's the trouble with this game. Some breaks, but 600 bucks, uh, not too bad. And we get to see you next week. Congratulations. Thank Thanks, everybody, for tuning us in. Cincinnati, we'll see you next week right here. Channel 9, 11 o'clock for BPA, King of TV Bowling. BPA, King of TV Bowling, brought to you by Pepsi, the ultimate taste. Jeff Weiler, Eastgate Auto Mall, your one-stop shopping center. Affordable chiropractic, the official BPA.